Hello, this is Hajar from Moroccan Way. I live in Edmonton, Canada. This is my second video for Moroccan cooking. Uh, as I told you in the first video, I do manage my small business Moroccan Way for handmade products. I ship to Canada and USA. Uh, you can, I will leave the link in the description. To, and I share my passion for cooking with you and my family secrets ingredients. Today we're gonna have the zucchini tagine. It's a very tasty tagine with a secret ingredient. So stay here, stay tuned, and you will see what's the secret ing ingredient and how we prepare it. Here we go. So we have almost a kilo, one kilo of beef meat. Uh, I like to choose it with bones because when the meat is with bones, generally from shoulder or the leg, it's more fatty and more tender. So uh, that's why always I go with tender meat. It gives better taste and it's softer. Meat is very important when you choose your ingredients, so make sure you choose the right one. With the spices, I have salt and pepper. Um, I do have ginger powder. It's half teaspoon of uh, ginger powder. Turmeric, as I told you, we love to color our, our food. Anyways, in Morocco, we love colors. Uh, and turmeric is healthy, give, gives a nice taste, and also it's, um, it gives the color. Here we go with Oregon. Oregon is the secret ingredient of the stagine. So we are not going to add it in the beginning, we will add it later. I do have one tablespoon of Oregon or oregano. So that's it for the spices, and we will have third cup of olive oil. Spices are, are very easy to find. You can find it in your home. Most of them are very affordable. You find them everywhere. Here we go. We have one middle onion and one small one. You can go with two mediums if you want. I do have cilantro. Cilantro is also one important ingredient in the stagine. We have one big tomato and one little cute one, small. And we have the zucchini. Yay, let's start. I'm back and first thing we're gonna cut the onions. We just chop them small pieces. to cry the onion is ready we're gonna put it in our pot so I don't keep try uh, crying while I cut the other ingredients and vegetables and now we will cut the tomato dice it or slice it I'll slice it. It's a beautiful big tomato. We prepare the zucchini. Clean it if you need to clean it, if there is anything. Then we will cut it. I generally cut it just like this because I don't want it to be. When it's small pieces, it's gonna be very soft as I'm not cooking it in a tagine, I'm just cooking it in a normal pot. So you can cut it just like this and leave it like this, this size. Whatever you prepare. I 
uh, now we will start cooking uh, I prepared all the ingredients I didn't cut the cilantro I prefer to leave it like this and let's see so first we start with the onions then we will add the olive oil salt pepper turmeric and the mix added the meat we can start mixing it already smells so good because of the turmeric and the pepper of course and of course with the olive oil so now that I mix the meat we can add the tomato, add the water, and finally add the cilantro. And now we can add water. I will start with using like 75 centimeter, centimeter of water because meat needs more time to be cooked. We will cover it now and leave it for almost two hours. We'll keep checking all as always and leave it low so it cooks slow don't forget to check every once and then it smells so good and everything looks so good and now we'll cover it again oh time for a break uh, i left the pots i'm not in a rush i can cook it for two hours or more uh, I do have some things to do at the same time so you can cook it differently like if you prefer a tagine if you have an instant pot if you prefer the pressure pot whatever you prefer you go for it because in the pressure you will need almost an hour to cook the meat I don't know for the instant pot I didn't start using it yet but I know for this kind of pots because I'm putting it on the slow so will need almost two hours I will keep checking and will let you know how much time did I need um, now we will go prepare the za'atar uh, we need to add it before we add the zucchini but at the end you don't have to add it in the beginning um, I'll show you how to prepare it but now I want to have my Moroccan tea with some sweets see you later now that i had my tea i'm ready and i have more energy so um here in my teapot i will put the oregon zatar has another the name of thyme too in english but whatever you have it's the same because i've noticed that they have the same smell smell i will add water
I will leave it here for a while uh, until uh, I'm ready to add it to the tagine. The more I leave it, the more it gives the taste. I prefer to filter it like this in the teapot because I won't have the small uh, leaves in my tagine. So I'm checking now if the meat is cooked. Uh, I think it still needs more time, almost half an hour. I'm gonna remove the cilantro and I will add the Oregon water. So now the meat uh, is tender, it's well cooked. We can add the zucchini. So the zucchini is almost cooked. I will uh, use a spoon to put the sauce on the zucchini so it will absorb all the sauce. And then I will let the sauce reduce because I don't want to have lots of sauce. Unless you have, you want to eat it with rice, but still don't leave lots of sauce here. And the soda has been reduced and we are ready to serve. Finally, the tagine is ready. You're going to see very soft. It absorbs all the taste of the za'atar, the thyme or Oregon, and it's so good. As we always say in Morocco, we eat almost all the time with bread. If you, if you prefer to have it with rice, you can have it with rice. I'm gonna have it with rice. Bread. Mmm. It's so tender and the taste of zaatar is so good. So bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with a new video, new recipe and a new secret. But don't forget our pass password, Tikshvila Tiuliula. Subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and see you soon. Bye bye.